Hey guys, today I got a little different type of video for you. A buddy of mine gave me this cart because uh, somebody gave it to him because a tree fell on it and mashed in the top right here. You can see it better from the inside where it hit it. Hit it over there and we got it straightened up. I got to weld the axle a little bit on the bottom of it. I bought the uh, gloss black paint for it. So after I get all the welding done on it, I want to uh, take a wire brush to everything and clean it up a little bit and put some paint on it make it look better. You see, it's actually a Craftsman trailer. But it's not in too bad a shape. Missing the tailgate, but I can probably make one for it. And it's got the dump here. Where you can dump it, I had to put that spring in there and make that easier to use. But everything works on it. I had to put new tires on it. As soon as I put new tires on it, I was saying, well, I should have made a video on putting them tires on there. But basically, basically they're front tires off a of lawnmower. And uh, they got grease fitting, so I can grease them every now and then. But it's in pretty rough shape as far as the dents in it, but it don't matter really to me. Uh, as long as I can use it, I'm going to go ahead and get the welding done on it. And I got to weld the hitch from the back of my mower here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to straighten that metal out. I'm going to weld a washer on the bottom. I know the washer on the top lined up, the way it makes it a little bit stronger. And I got this bolt here. I'm gonna weld the uh, washer on the top of this. I'll use that as the hitch pin for it. That should work pretty good. And then washers are for this bolt, half inch bolt, I think it is. That way it uh, should be pretty tight on there. Won't be too much slack in it. Here's the bottom of them. You can see it's not not in too bad a shape, really. Uh, this is what I was talking about. The axle keeps wanting to slide in it from side to side, making the tires rub. And you can see it's rubbing right there because the weights aren't from the way it's sitting. But uh, I already tacked them. So I'm going to go ahead and put a solid weld on a couple spots here to keep that axle from moving. I'll probably do this off camera because you can't really see much of the welding on video anyway. So we'll look at it when I get it done. Alright, I got it welded and got it primed so it won't rust. Okay, I already got it straightened out about as good as it's going to be. I'll go ahead and grind it down on both sides so we've got bare metal to weld to. Okay, I got the washer held in with vice grips here. I'll leave the bolt in until I get a couple tacks to hold everything in place. And I'll put a solid weld around it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and grind this down a little bit to make it flush again. Get the bumps off of it from where the weld is. Where the hitch can turn easier on it. Alrighty, I got it ground down pretty good. It gives a can. You can see they're both lined up pretty good there. The bolt was in it when I first started welding it. So now I'm going to go ahead and wire brush this a little bit to get the slag off of it. Then we'll uh, throw a little paint on it so it won't rust. Alright, I got it painted. That's good enough because it's going to get scratched up anyway from the trailer being on it. So uh, uh, I'll go ahead and weld the washer on the bolt and get that part done. Then we'll get the paint in the trailer. Alright guys. Here's the bolt, you can see I welded that on just tack it. I'm gonna get ready to prime that. Drill a hole here for a hitch clip. Be better than using the nut. So there's the bolt. I'm gonna paint the top of this, keep the top of it from rusting. And all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting on the trailer. I'm gonna get the bottom painted here and I'm gonna put it on time lapse here. All right, guys, yeah, you can see I got the first coat on it there. It rained a little bit last night and blew in on it. Uh, it's not going to be super, it's not going to look like a brand new cart or anything. I mean, trust me, I'm not going for that anyway. But uh, I figure I'll give it one more coat on it at some point, maybe in the next few weeks or so. But if I, if I don't get around to it, I'll go ahead and use it like it is. It ain't that big a deal. 
if it, if this side wasn't all bent up to, and everything, it, I would have sanded it a lot better than what I did and primed it and got to get the paint the finish a lot smoother. But for what it is, what I'm going to use it for, it's basically all I need, really. Uh, I thought about painting the rims white, might look a little better. And I thought about coming in and redoing the Craftsman logo, but if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. You know what I mean? A lot better than it was. The main thing I wanted to concentrate on was uh, fixing the hitch up. As you can see, it worked out pretty good. Got that cotter pin on that bolt here. I thought about cutting the threads off, but I don't think there'd be any point in it. And it worked pretty good. So, yeah. Well, guys, if you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment there, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching.